Hi, I'm Hannah, and today on Utuna, we're presenting Anisakis Part 2, How to Avoid It. Anisakis is a parasite that lives in fish and in cephalopods, like squid or octopus. If we eat raw or undercooked fish, there's a chance that we'll also swallow a live Anisakis larva, and that can make us ill. Does this mean that we shouldn't eat fish? Not at all. We mostly eat fish cooked anyway, and the high temperatures kill the parasite. As long as the whole piece of fish reaches 60 degrees centigrade, or 140 Fahrenheit, there's no danger. So go ahead and enjoy your favorite grilled fish recipe or those tasty fried squid rings. They're perfectly safe. The only time we're at risk is when we eat homemade dishes made from fresh fish that are either raw or prepared at low temperatures. It can be totally raw, as in sushi, or marinades like pickled herring or ceviche or cold smoked salmon. Acids don't bother anisakis in the slightest, and salt doesn't kill it either. But there's an easy solution. If your freezer has at least three stars, it means it reaches minus 20 centigrade. So stick your fish in it and freeze it for five days at minus 20, which is minus four Fahrenheit. If your freezer doesn't go down to minus 20 degrees, forget it. Buy your fish already frozen. Fish that's sold frozen is perfectly safe. It's also recommended that if you buy whole fresh fish, or if you fish it yourself, that you remove the gut right away. The anisakis tends to be in the fish's abdomen, although it can also migrate into the muscles. And what about store-bought, uncooked products, such as anchovies or cold-smoked salmon? Not to worry. The manufacturers are required by law to freeze the fish beforehand, so it's safe. If you eat sushi in a restaurant, the restaurant is also obliged by law to freeze all the fish beforehand. So as long as it's a reputable restaurant, no need to worry. And what about salt cod or other dried fish? Those aren't cooked either, but the way that they're dried and salted kills the parasite, so they're safe. And what about oysters? We eat them raw. It's true, but they're fine. Bivalves, which includes oysters, clams, and mussels, don't host the anisakis parasite. The same thing is true with freshwater fish. They don't host the parasite either. How will we know that we've eaten a live parasite? The symptoms usually show up within a few hours and are like a bad stomach flu with nausea and vomiting. There can also be an allergic reaction with hives and swelling, and in some cases, even anaphylactic shock. In that case, one has to get medical attention immediately. Let's recap. If you're going to prepare fish or squid in ways that don't include cooking, buy them already frozen or freeze them at minus 20 degrees centigrade, that's minus four Fahrenheit, for five days. And if you cook fresh fish, make sure it's cooked through and not raw in the middle, and you're safe. Enjoy. You'll find more videos and articles about the mysteries of tuna at planettuna.com.